god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just found a dead body. Don't touch it. Can you shut up? I'm trying to investigate. And your pacing is driving me crazy. Come on, you shut up, you... God, the stress is messing with my insults. Stress is one thing. Being a complete lunatic is... Guys, maybe we should save this argument for a time when we're not right next to a dead body. Anyways, I looked through the county's missing person list and I found him. It says he was reported missing three days ago. Mark Jacobs? I've heard that name before. Doesn't he go to our school? I've never seen him. Maybe that's because he hangs up with actual cool kids. Anyways, we should call the police. They know how to handle this better than three teenagers. No! Look, we're three teenagers who just happened to find another dead teenager's body in the middle of an abandoned field. That seems a little suspicious, don't you think? Plus, it's pretty coincidental that you just happened to trip over his arm. But that's not a lie. Plus, we already touched the dead body. You touched the body? I told you I was investigating. You idiot. Enough. We're too far down this rabbit hole to turn back. It doesn't matter who touched him. We're a team and we're going to solve this together. Okay? Now, in the meantime, let's go get some coffee, take a breather, and then we'll come back and investigate. What if someone finds a body while we're gone? Then we're screwed. Too late to turn back now. I call shotgun. Just trying to brighten the mood. So, who's this Mark dude? Uh, football team, I think. Real douchebag. Football team? He didn't have big enough muscles for that. Okay, guys, I would really prefer if we could not talk about the dead guy's muscles. Wait, Nikki, I thought you said you didn't know him. I say a lot of things. Obviously. Anyway, when you first said his name, I didn't recognize it. But when I went through his Instagram, I noticed that he was dating my friend Sherry. Wait, Sherry? Yeah, like 100% sure. <laughs> She's gay. What? No, it looked like they were dating on his Instagram. That's weird. Maybe she got upset that he was, like, putting too much pressure on her, so she decided to murder him? I feel like the motive would need to be bigger than that. I guess I'm talking to Sherry. I'm glad we dumped that body in the garage. That thing being cramped in the trunk was really grossing me out. Tell me about it. Sherry's cleared. She's been up north camping with her family the past two weeks. She just got back this morning. Great! So we're back at square one. Not exactly. I found this phone in the back of the car. It must have fallen out while we were driving back. Well, can you get in? Unfortunately, no. It's password protected, so it's anyone's guess. Um, Nikki, pull up his Instagram again. Um, try 37. It's four digits. Um, 3722. Oh my god! It worked! You're a genius! How did you figure that out? His football jersey is 37 and his graduation year is 22. Easy. Should really come up with a better password. Never mind. Are you finding anything? Um, I'm looking through his camera roll and just a lot of ab pics. Ew! What? More than just abs. Hey, let me try messages. I say try recent phone calls. That way it'll show us he's, he's been in contact with. So will messages. Yeah, uh, okay. I found something. I've been checking you out. Oh my god, is he hitting on someone? Not even close. He's blackmailing them. I saw what you did. One wrong move and I'll report you to the police. Oh my god. The number's not saved. How are we ever going to figure out who it is? Look, maybe the number's not saved because they didn't think they're that much of a threat. I mean, if I was blackmailing someone and thought they might kill me, I'd save the numbers so that way the police have something to look into. That's a good point, but these messages are intense. Mark had enough evidence to put this person behind bar. Why didn't he? I guess he was getting something in return? Look, it says leave the money on my doorstep. So he was getting paid? Seems like it. Oh shoot, that's my mom. I have to go, but I'll make sure to ponder on this and return tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I should probably head out too. I think we've done enough investigating for the day. Wait. I just want to try one more thing. Oh my god.
God. You did it. You were the one being blackmailed. You killed Mark Jacobs. You just had to keep going, didn't you? Even when I tried to veer you off the track with the Sherry stuff, you just had to know the truth. Guess what? Knowing the truth is going to cost you. Why did you do it? Why did he start blackmailing you? What is going on? Me and his best friend Sherry were... friends. I guess you can say he wasn't too happy about it. He started following me. Everywhere. He took pictures of anything and everything I was doing. And being the naive little me, I didn't think too much about the silver car I kept seeing everywhere I went. Then he caught me in a sticky situation. In the messages, he said you were shoplifting. That's true. It was my biggest job yet. I stole over $2,000 worth of stuff and ran from the police. He got the entire thing on video. If the judge saw that, I would lose everything. My chances of going into college, getting a career, my whole future. So you killed him? I lived with paying for him every couple of weeks, but then his demands just kept getting higher and higher. So I did what any reasonable blackmail person would do. I got rid of the blackmailer. I took his phone out of his pocket when you and Elijah were looking away, but I guess it fell out. I'm telling everyone. I, I'm calling the police, Elijah, anyone. How exactly are you going to explain how you got the body in your garage? How are you going to explain the fingerprints on the body? I'll figure something out. All I know is that you're going to jail for a very long time. Whatever. It sucks you won't be able to tell anyone, though. What are you talking about? <laughs>